So the second question is also based on that particular spreadsheet, okay? They say, based on the given spreadsheet, if the quantity of grapes is doubled, what will be the new total cost, okay? So what that means, we need to go to the Excel spreadsheet and double what? Uh, the quantity of grapes, okay? So we go back to our spreadsheet, then uh you go you look for grapes this is grapes okay and then you double the quantity so at the moment the quantity is uh 20 okay if you double this you get 40 right okay so there are two ways to do this you can simply do it on your calculator and then uh, write 40 okay and then your new total is 100 rand okay or you could have just simply uh, say it equals to and then uh, type 2 or then times uh, the original one which was 20 and then it will give you 40 and still you'll get the same total okay so the correct answer for this question is uh, let's go back to our, our assignment so the correct answer for this one is 100 if you select 100 uh, you'll be marked correct okay so uh, let's do the second one on this same video okay so it says based on the given spreadsheet what is the average price per unit of all in the table okay of all in the table so here uh, you need to be careful uh you simply must change the uh, you must change the values back to the original values okay for example the quantity the original was 20 so keep it at 20 remember the price for oranges initially was one one rand okay uh, return that to one rand okay so if you want to determine uh they said we need to uh based on the given spreadsheet what is the average price per unit of all items in the table price per unit okay so we are going to determine the average you can simply do that by clicking okay you, you can actually click anywhere where you want to calculate the the average okay but in this case i have chosen to calculate the average here uh, just click on this cell then press equals to then type a v and then you'll get uh, options then we are looking for average uh click on average okay double click on it if you double click on it it will give you uh, options like this after being given options like this just uh, click on the first uh, go to your price per unit the first one the first item there click and hold and then drag your mouse to the to the last one okay after doing that then click on enter okay you see the price this is the average price okay so to get the average price, you are going to use the average function, okay? And then after pressing enter, you'll get your, your correct answer. So this is the correct answer. And then when you go back to your questions, you'll realize that you have two, <laughs> two 1.38. So this one here, uh, whether you, you, you get it right or wrong depends on your luck, okay? But one of these two is correct. Uh, the reason being is that uh, the values that you see here, okay, uh, uh, it actually corresponds to hidden values that you can't see. So on the background, one of these has 1.38 and the other has a different value, okay. Hence, if you choose the wrong one, you'll be marked incorrect. Or oh, So it's this one is a matter of guessing so yeah you're basically done with uh question question two one two and three okay so now that we're done with one two and three let's move on to the next one okay so the next questions are also based on the spreadsheet okay so let's read and then try to do what they want us to do they say, based on the given spreadsheet, what is the total cost of purchasing 25 units of bananas? 25 units of bananas. We want what? The total cost of purchasing 25 units of bananas. Go back to your spreadsheet. 
Okay, look or search for bananas. Uh, this is the row that we are focusing on. Okay, so if we change this quantity to 25, what will be the answer? What will be the total cost? Okay, so here the total cost, you see, after changing this value, okay, after typing 25 and clicking enter, uh, this value changed to 18.75. That simply means that is your answer, okay? So your answer for that question is this one, the first one, okay?